Iran is sending mixed signals when it comes to intervening in favor of Hamas against Israel. While the U.S. has warned Iran against getting involved, the Islamic Republic of Iran seems to be weighing its options. There are two prominent possibilities. Iran could get into this directly or use its proxy. In both cases, this could be tricky for Israel. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Israel needs to be wary about Iran's possible intervention. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Iranian armed forces are the largest in the Middle East in terms of active troops. Iran's military forces are made up of approximately 610,000 active duty personnel, plus 350,000 reserve and trained personnel that can be mobilized when needed, bringing the country's military manpower to about 960,000 total personnel. While its air force consists of old aircraft, it has a decent artillery and armor force. Critically, Iran could inflict a heavy toll on Israel without deploying its ground forces. Iran possesses the largest and most diverse missile arsenal in the Middle East, with thousands of ballistic and cruise missiles, some capable of striking as far as Israel and Southeast Europe. For the past decade, Iran has invested significantly to improve these weapons' precision and lethality. Iran has approximately 1,000 strategic missiles that are controlled by the Revolutionary Guard. It consists of 300 short-range ballistic missiles, including Iranian-made Shahab-1, Scud-B, Shahab-2, Scud-C, as well as Tundar-69, CSS-8. It also has domestically produced Shahab-3 strategic intermediate-range ballistic missiles. IRBM, with a reported range of up to 1,000 kilometers, or 620 miles. The Gadir-1, with an estimated 1,950 kilometers, or around 1,210 miles. And a Shahab-3 variant known as Emad, with a reported range of up to 1,700 kilometers, or 1,055 miles. The country also has Sumar cruise missile, which appears to be derived from the Russian KH-55, and has a range of 2,000 kilometers, or about 1,250 miles. Hezbollah, the Lebanese militant organization, which is actively supported by Iran, is a genuine threat. Hezbollah does not reveal its armed strength. The Dubai-based Gulf Research Center estimated that Hezbollah's armed wing comprises 1,000 full-time Hezbollah members, along with a further 6,000 to 10,000 volunteers. According to the Iranian Fars News Agency, Hezbollah has up to 65,000 fighters. It's often described as more military powerful than the Lebanese army. Israeli commander Guizur called Hezbollah by far the greatest guerrilla group in the world. Israeli Defense Forces Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot said that Hezbollah possesses tens of thousands of long and short-range rockets, drones, advanced computer encryption capabilities, as well as advanced defense capabilities like the SA-6 anti-aircraft missile system. Hezbollah possesses the Katyusha-122 rocket, which has a range of 29 kilometers, or 18 miles, and carries a 15-kilogram, or 33-pound, warhead. 
Hezbollah also possesses about 100 long-range missiles. They include the Iranian-made Fajr-3 and Fajr-5, the latter with a range of 75 kilometers, or 47 miles, enabling it to strike the Israeli port of Haifa, and the Zalzal-1 with an estimated 150 kilometer, or 93 mile range, which can reach Tel Aviv. Fajir-3 missiles have a range of 40 kilometers, or 25 miles, and a 45 kilogram, or 99 pound warhead, and Fajir-5 missiles, which extend to 72 kilometers, that's 45 miles, also hold 45 kilometer, or 99 pound warheads. As of 2017, the Israeli government believed Hezbollah had an arsenal of nearly 150,000 rockets stationed on its border with Lebanon. One of the most effective weapons deployed by Hezbollah has been the C-802 anti-ship missile. Israeli military officials and analysts have also drawn attention to the experience and weaponry the group would have gained from the involvement of thousands of its fighters in the Syrian civil war. Gabi Saboni, director of the Military and Strategic Affairs Program at the Institute for National Security Studies at Tel Aviv University, said, This kind of experience cannot be bought. It is an additional factor that we will have to deal with. There is no replacement for experience, and it's not to be scoffed at. So, Hezbollah propped up by Iran is a challenge. The Strait of Hormuz between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman provides the only sea passage from the Persian Gulf to the open ocean. On the north coast lies Iran, and on the south coast the United Arab Emirates and Musandam, an exclave of Oman. At its narrowest, the strait has a width of only 21 nautical miles, or 39 kilometers, making it a choke point. Around 33% of the world's liquefied natural gas and almost 20% of total global oil production passes through the strait, making it one of the most important sea routes. Iran has hundreds of fast boats, some of which carry anti-ship missiles, whereas others carry suicide payloads. Being small in size, they can be maneuvered easily, and the high speed makes them a difficult target. Iran also has a decent number of launchers stationed along the shoreline that can fire different kinds of anti-ship missiles. In a world where inflation is high, and which is already reeling because of the war in Ukraine, a potential blockade of the Strait of Hormuz is a leverage Iran could use. This way, the country could put immense pressure on the West, which is largely supporting Israel, who in turn could push Israel into not launching the ground offensive inside Gaza. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.